I live in Sumrall, which is 11 miles west of Hattiesburg on 98. For my regular job, I caretake my 88-year-old mother. I'm taking guitar lessons right now and hope to start the first trans band in the state of Mississippi. The move to Hattiesburg was a turning point in my life. We moved here after what has become known as the Great Flood of 2016 in Baton Rouge. We decided to move here since this is where our church family is. I've gotten involved in several groups such as the Spectrum Center, the only LGBTQ plus community center in Mississippi that is open to the public, where I teach a Trans 101 program, and several programs with Pine Belt Mental Health. I'll never forget in 2014, before we came here, when I was hired as a registrar at a small career college in Baton Rouge. I was so scared and upset when I had to tell my boss that I was transgender. I was so worried about their response that I was shocked at their support and acceptance. I filed my legal name change two days later, but it showed me how important non-discrimination is in the workplace. Discrimination is prevalent in all areas of the country, and we just want to be treated as equals. We want everybody to know that we are just like them. We're trying to get a non-discrimination ordinance going in Hattiesburg. HB 1523, the Religious Freedom Act, essentially allows businesses and employers to discriminate against LGBTQ individuals. Counseling is the biggest thing people ask for. Whenever I get a call, and I get a lot of them to the center here, I either refer them to Jackson or New Orleans. We do need some resources here in Hattiesburg. We have our monthly Living True support group, open to anyone, and that group is dedicated to bridging the gap between the straight community and the LGBT community. There's no one way to be transgendered or LGBTQ. Each person will choose the path that is right for them. For me, the result is peace of mind now that I'm living the gender I've always been. I've always loved entertaining and making people feel good with my music. My first song is called My Lord. It's not real long, but it's my feelings about religion and how the Lord has guided me through all the trials and tribulations to where I am now. And to let other people know, to not be ashamed of asking for help, praying. Because he's answered prayers in my life, I'm at the age where I understand it now and I know it's happened. I've been revitalized this last year. I feel like I'm on top of the world. I hope my song gets put into a hymnal one day and my new band, Diversity, will be one of the top bands in the state. It's taken me a long time to get to this point, and I hope to take it as far as I can. The urgency is to let people know that we are out there. According to a lot of leaders in this state, there are no trans people in Mississippi. I want to clear that up and say there are. There are more than you think. I'd like to see us grow our resources for LGBTQ people in the state, counter these harmful laws, and invite Hattiesburg to participate in creating an inclusive community that it can be proud of. Mississippi will grow as we provide opportunities for every Mississippian to live their best life possible. There are approximately 15,000 people living in Mississippi who identify as transgender or gender nonconforming. However, living in their truth can prove costly in many ways. Loss of housing loss of employment, and lack of access to public services. When bias, prejudice, rejection, and discrimination plays out in someone's life, it can mean fear, inequality, and injustice. Mississippi can shift this trajectory by implementing statewide and local civil rights protections that include transgender people as a protected class, increasing opportunities so that every Mississippian succeeds in school, on the job, and in our communities, helps us all.